So when it comes to building a CNC machine, and it's very important to make sure the base of the machine is flat as possible. So as you can see, this is 0 0.02 millimeters over a meter. So this is literally, uh, the front of the machine is 1.5 meters long, and we're almost right in the middle of the table. And you can see that the bubble is far off to the left. I have some 0.1 millimeter shim stock here, and what we're going to do is we're just going to put it very on the very edge of this and see if it lifts up at all. So did that do anything? Probably not. Let's put another 0.1 down. Did that do anything? Oh, it's starting to move. So let's do another 0.1. Let's wait till it's, the bubble settles. So as you can see, the machine is 0.3 millimeters off from true zero over one and a half millimeters, or sorry, 1.5 meters long. That is beyond a perfect zero for a hobby CNC machine as this. So looking at this here, the machine is starting to settle out a little bit. I can still see the bubble moving. Uh, over two and a half meters long. It is damn near perfect. It is one, two, three, four thousand or close to being almost one, one, uh, one hundredths of a millimeter off over two and a half meters long. So that's pretty good. This machine is damn near zero. So if you guys haven't yet, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button because the Steel Knight version two is being built as we're speaking. Uh, this machine is going to be a powerhouse. It has a uh, plasma cutting slash milling on top and a welding table underneath that I'm going to be able to pull out and completely remove it if I need to weld while the machine is running. This is the first combination table ever in the world.